Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy. And today I wanna to talk with you about a topic related to narcissism that I really haven't covered. Um, I have talked about the narcissistic parent, having a parent who's a narcissist, but I haven't talked specifically about having an elderly parent who is a narcissist. Um, specifically for people who are in the age cohort of like later 40s, 50s, 60s, and they have an elderly parent, and that parent is narcissistic. So we're talking parents in their 80s or 90s. And boy, <laughs> this is a really special group. Um, if you're in it, you know just how special it is. You know, guys, this is really its own kind of hell. And nobody talks about it. Um, it's, it's a really difficult dynamic. It is just laden with all kinds of things. So I can't go into depth in it. I mean, I would be talking for two hours, but I do want to talk about some of the dynamics, some of the common dynamics that I see over and over when this is the case. So first of all, you have the dynamics of having a narcissistic parent. And in my guide, Surviving the Narcissist, I have an entire section on having a narcissistic parent. It is profoundly damaging. They are profoundly destructive. They cause all kinds of havoc in um, people's lives. So having an, a parent who's a narcissist in and of itself is very difficult. But when you add in the dynamic of having an elderly parent who is narcissistic, it sort of adds even more dimension to an already really difficult thing. And I think even when people are at that stage of life, they've been through a lot of variations of this relationship with the parent, but especially if, if you, know, you haven't really done your own work or therapy work around this, you know, I find often people, at that, even at that stage, they are still kind of stuck in this emotional hell and emo emotional dynamic of, of just trying to get your parent to be the parent you deserve, right? Trying to be good enough, still being really impacted by all the sh their shenanigans and bad behavior and criticism and on and on and on. Right. So, but then it becomes more complicated because there are all these societal, societal values and rules and, and things we put on ourselves about this expectation of how we are supposed to be and how we are supposed to treat an elderly parent, especially if that parent is getting more frail and you have now become their caregiver, which is often the case when we're dealing with this situation, right? When a parent is in their 80s, 90s, you are often dealing with the child is now the one who is responsible for taking care of this parent. And so it adds all kinds of layers of dimension onto this that are extraordinarily difficult and extraordinarily frustrating. And then it's infused with all this societal ideal about the elderly parent and taking care of our parents, you know, societal stuff, the, the stuff we personally put on to ourselves about that, and the, the pressure and the guilt and the expectations that we get from family members. Um, and P.S., <laughs> as an aside, it is not at all unusual that when there is a narcissistic parent, there is at least one child who's narcissistic. So for people to caring for these narcissistic parents, it's not gonna be the narcissistic child, is it? It's not gonna be your sibling, it's gonna be you. So you're kind of sandwiched if you have that, if that's the case, you're sandwiched in this really difficult, awful dynamic of the narcissistic parent, the narcissistic sibling, and the narcissistic sibling is telling you why you're not being good enough, and not, you know, and they usually live far away. I, you know, if you're living it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is just a morass of a multitude of ways to feel bad. Um, so there is another huge dynamic that gets at play here, and that is when you're dealing with an elderly parent, you're often dealing with their health failing. So you're often dealing with, in a caregiver role, having them be, there's some medical fragility there. Um, and they will, boy, will they latch on to that, right? 
and they will use that as a cudgel to try to control you and to try to get you over there all of the time. Um, you know, one of the things I see a lot with elderly parents is um, they are calling the, the child, the adult child, they're calling their child multiple times a day, multiple times a day. You know, just for all, like, I can't plug my phone in. You know, I can't, I, it's all kinds of stuff, right? Um, and often you're in the position of having to take care of them or coordinating care. Um, I've known far too many people who are there kind of the person responsible for that. And you're getting all kinds of pressure from every corner about how you're supposed to be doing that and how you're supposed to be doing it well. And I wanna be careful with what I'm gonna say here because I do not ever want to minimize nor dismiss the true medical issues that are going on. They can be profound. They can be very serious. The problem is that the narcissistic parent will use medical emergencies to manipulate. Um, and so there is this confusion and, and often you just don't know, is this a real medical issue? Is this a real medical emergency? Or are they manipulating? They'll do things like, um, they'll call you and say that they have fallen. Well, they haven't fallen. They've sort of slid down out of their chair, right? They will do things like mess up their medications. If you buy one of those machines to dispense medications, it will get broken. If you buy them a necklace to wear to, you know, if they fall, they can push a button, they will lose it. It will get forgotten, right? So it's this enormously difficult and guilt-inducing and overwhelming situation. And I have a couple things to say about it, but I, I just want to add here, if you are in this situation, I, I cannot encourage you enough to find a good therapist who understands narcissism because this is enormously complicated. It is enormously fraught. It is infused with all kinds of dynamics that have been going on your entire life. And you need somebody who understands it. You need somebody who gets it to help you understand how you navigate this and how you set healthy boundaries in a situation that truly is quite complicated where you are dealing with medical issues, right? And, and to help you understand how you set healthy boundaries within that to set up things that are automated so that you're not running over there. There is a system in place that if you fall, then we need to call 911, right? If you can't keep your meds straight, maybe we need to put you, maybe it's time to go to assisted living because it's not safe for you to live there, right? So there's all kinds of conversations that that have to start happening in order so that you are not just, and, and I've used this, this term recently, so that you're not annihilated by your elderly parent who is just pulling you into a vortex and a sinkhole of all kinds of really difficult it's like the tar pits of La Brea, right? You're getting pulled down into this black, sticky tar that's just sucking you under. It's enormously difficult, enormously complicated. I, I, if you are in this situation, please reach out and get some help with somebody who understands all of this. Um, so I, I want to say one other thing about this. You know, one of the other things that makes this so difficult is often people don't, as always with a narcissistic parent, other people aren't seeing it, right? They're like, oh, your mom is so cute. She's the cutest 90 year old, uh, you know, she's so sweet, all the kinds of things. And then that just compounds this experience that you're already having, that you're getting pulled into the tar pit and being annihilated and feeling like you're drowning and then you feel like you're a bad person because like 
you're 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 mad about all of this and you're depressed about all of this and you're resentful about all of this and yet boy are you being a bad person because what kind of what kind of child doesn't want to take care of their elderly parent and help them and take it all seriously so um you know, I, I know I'm kind of going on and on. This video is getting a bit long, but I, but I just, I, you guys, I really have like tremendous empathy for people who are in this situation. N unless you're in it, people do not understand what this is like. They do not understand the dynamics at play, and so it feels incredibly isolating. Okay. So anyway, listen. I, I hope that this is helpful. Um, if it is, you know, please give it a like. Pass it along. If you're watching this and you know of somebody in this situation who could benefit from this, please pass it along to them. Nobody talks about this, but it is very profound, okay? If you haven't already, please um, make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you be a part of my community, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. It always makes my day when I hear from you guys, okay? And please do check out that guy. You can find the link for that in the description of this video down below. It's the guide surviving the narcissist. All right. Take care, guys. If, if, if you're in this situation, please, please get some support and take care. It's really hard.